If you guys want to learn how to make a kill NPC for cash system in Revive Studio, then watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make an updated kill NPC for cash system in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the scripts are in the description and let's get started. Okay, so first you want to click on avatar and insert a rig. I'll just get a block rig and then place it where you want. And insert a script into it. We can rename this to kill or oh yeah, kill NPC script. And this script will be in the description for free. So what we're gonna do is get my kill players for cash script. Oh uh, yeah, Roblox's thing is kind of broken, so there we go. And then we're gonna get the script, the kill player for cash. We'll just copy this and then we can change it to how we like for this so paste in there so obviously instead of that we can get rid of that get rid of those and here we can say script.parent wait for child humanoid humanoid and get rid of that okay now we can just move this down at the back okay look with humanoids you could do script.parent wave chart okay so this should basically uh be everything so it gets the color of whoever killed the rig and it gives them 100 coins or 100 cash okay now let's make the leader stat script insert a script in subscript service this script will also be in the description we'll name this to leader stats script and follow along with me game.players.player added connect function get rid of that player and local leader stats instance dot new folder oh dot new folder leader stats dot name it's equal to leader stats and then put it into the player I only make a new variable for the cache so uh, instance dot new int value and then set the name to cache and then put that into leader stats so this is the leader stats script it will not save your cache but i'll show you how to do that later in the video so now we need a sword or any type of weapon let's click yes and also guys make sure that whatever weapon you use to kill this npc damages it with a script and not a local script because this script runs from what happens on the server and if you're damaging on the client it won't actually work properly so it needs to damage the npc with a script so open up your tool click on the script and find where it says take damage or it minuses health or something like that okay cool so we can go ahead and play we have zero cash we go and kill the npc we have 100 cash and it's working now i'm going to just quickly show you how to make the dummy respawn so i think i made a video on it but i'll just quickly get one from here a npc respawn and then drag that into there cool close that okay and if we want it to give a different like a random amount of coins what we can do say so local coins mm, yeah, we'll just say coins. It's equal to, and then we'll put in a table different amounts 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1000. We just quickly add 100. And then we'll change this to coins, coins, math.random, one comma hashtag coins. So, so it's going to choose a random amount out of this table. So now let's quickly play and test it now. So if we kill, give us 600, and it should respawn. Uh, I'm not sure how long. There we go. And it works again, and we got a thousand that time. Okay, so now for the uh, coin saving, I think I had a leader stats script here that I made. Data store should be somewhere here. Okay, let me just search data store. Should work. 
Okay, so I found it now. Data store here. We can just take this script, put it into there, delete that, and delete that. And we're going to change this to cache because we're using cache. Change all of these. All of these. This. This. That. And play all these sets of cache. Okay, so this script is going to be a separate script from the one that doesn't save. So this is the saving one. The other one that I had was the non-saving one. You can choose which one you want. And now we need to actually publish the game so that we can enable the data store. So I'll just say yeah, NPC kill for cache. Oh, let me fix that. NPC kill for cache. And I'll uh, cut to when it finishes. Okay, so it's done now. So if you click on game settings, security, and then enable studio access to API services. Save that. So now if you play, go to zero cache, and we kill with 600. Now let's say we leave and rejoin. Zero. Okay, wait, there is a little error here. Cache dot value is equal to dot data. Um, I have time to cannot be converted to a number. Let's try number value. Okay, that might work. So now for the kill, 800. Stop. And let's rejoin. We've got 800 cash. So yeah. So we kill again. Stop. And play. There we go. So yeah. That's it for today's video. Bye guys.